Hi, I'm Susie Celine, and I have a great show lined up for you today with my special guests, Jeff Kutash, Joe Spinella, and Julia Lima. So don't go away. We'll be right back. With me today, my special guest is Joe Spinella. Hi, Joe. How you doing? I'm great. Great to be here. Thank well, you. Well, thank you for coming to Vegas and seeing all of us. And I would love to have you tell our audience what's going on in your life now. Well, actually, a lot of great things. Um, I'm here in Vegas because I'm at the final stages of putting together uh, the um, the funding and uh, finding the right people mm -hmm. uh, venue for my new show that I created called uh, Don Papra. Don Papra. Yeah, which is um, it's sort of like a, um, uh, a musical with magic and great singing and uh, and it's like a it's a the theme is like a gangster mob theme. Don Papra uh -huh. is the role that I play okay. is um, uh, an ex-mob boss who wants to become a famous pop star. So it's his story about leaving them off, and it's very funny, it's hysterical. And we got some characters in the show, and they're all gangsters. Oh, you're in the right place, Yeah, you? this is... I mean, this is it. Yeah, I think the, I think the theme... <laughs> Vegas is gonna love you. I think the theme works great for Vegas. Yeah, yeah. we got a nice history here. Uh -huh. oh. So tell us a little bit about your background and, and how you got in, into Don Papra and how you've, how you've come to Las Vegas. I'm sure our audience would love okay. to hear this. Right. Well, when I was six years old, that's when, <laughs> <laughs> can we go back that far? Sure, whatever you want. Okay. When I was six years old, I became a magician. Um, I even went to school, uh, magic school, and uh, through college, I continued to be a magician. When I was seven years old, I became a percussionist. So I started my musical career. And I became very accomplished as a drummer and uh, got scholarship into college as a percussion major. Okay. And then in my second year of college, they discovered I could sing. I never sang a note. Oh my. In fact, my family were, are like, every time I tried to sing, they're like, no, Joey, you should just, mm, you know, let, let us do the singing. You just um, be quiet and watch. So <laughs> I was intimidated by that as a young boy. Sure. Never sang. Yeah. But, um, in that class that I had to take as a percussion major, they discovered I could sing. So the, after the very first year of, of um, becoming a voice major and a percussion major, uh, I was approached by the Sarasota Opera Company. Sarasota? Yeah. And uh -huh. the, the, this very little good. lady came up to me and she said, I want you to sing with my opera company. I'm like, okay. What's that? You know, yeah. like, <laughs> I really yeah. didn't have any experience yeah. at all with that. Yeah. So I agreed, and I, uh, I sang in the opera company What that did season. you sing? I was doing um, uh, scenes from La Boheme. Okay. And I was doing uh, uh, another opera called Orpheus in the Underworld. Orpheus in the Underworld? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it fits really well here in oh Vegas. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I can <laughs> tell you a little bit about that later. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, to be continued. Right. <laughs> And uh, so I realized that I really couldn't sing that well right. because after just one year of voice lessons, it really didn't prove Did, to be a lot to right. really carry me forward. Right. So I found a gal in the opera that had the most phenomenal voice, and I said, who do you study with? She goes, you need to come to Manhattan School of Music in New York and study with this, this teacher. Right. She'll, she will help you. Okay. So I auditioned for the Manhattan yeah. School of Music, got in on scholarship, uh -huh. and uh, studied there for several years. And then uh, upon graduation, I went back to Sarasota and started uh, my career actually as a cantor in a temple and also a musical director in an interfaith church. Oh my. And I started a vocal studio. Okay. And I'm also a conductor. So I'm currently the conductor of the Sarasota Mandolin Orchestra. So. Here I am in the temple and in the churches, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm singing with symphony orchestras, which is great, performing yeah. with symphony orchestra. Well, that is yes, a wonderful, a wonderful thing. Yes. But it, it wasn't enough. I wasn't utilizing all my talents, and I wasn't reaching enough people. Right. So I thought, why don't I create something new, something interesting that could take me into the future? Okay. So that's when I thought, well, let's look at what I have as my talents. Magic. Singing. Good looks. Kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> Let's put them together. Yeah. 
and create something different. So that's what I did. And um, uh, I, I created a show called Illusionaria. Mm -hmm. That show had 13 runs and was the stepping stone for where I am now with the theme Don Papra, a new theme show. Okay. And uh, that's when I, I, I met Jeff Kutash just a few, about, about six months ago. Okay. And Jeff Kutash was at one of my press parties, and he's a producer, and he's he's a gentleman who had uh, produced Splash here Absolutely. in Vegas. Yes. I think it was running here for 21 Long years. Long time. He's well known. Yeah, he's yeah. he's uh, a legend. Yes, he's and a legend know, in Las Vegas. Yep, I, I read about him, and I and and he approached me, and the next thing I know is we're producing Don Popper together. Oh my goodness! So that's the long story short. Uh huh. So do you want to give give us uh, our audience uh, like a little taste of what you do? Sing to me a oh, little Oh, you mean bit. like... <clears throat> yeah, just a little. Just a little. All right. I have a special song for you. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. You're going to love this song. Do you okay. remember Mario Lanza? Yes. Well, he was made famous by this song. Okay. And it's a beautiful song. And um, it's one of my favorites. It's not a show that's in this... Uh, I mean, it's not a song that's in the show. Okay. But, well, it could be. Who knows? Yes. Y things know. do change. We might... Can we work this out, huh? <laughs> so sing to so me, my friend. So here's a taste. Be my love, for no one else can end this yearning, this need that you and you alone create. Just fill my arms the way you fill my dreams, the dreams that you inspire with every sweet desire. Be my love, and with your kisses set me burning. One kiss is all I need to seal my fate. And hand in hand, we'll find love's promised land. There'll be no one but you for me eternally. If you will be my love! Amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Well, audience, what do you think about that for a taste? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you on. Oh, it was And I want to, I want to, I want to follow your your track here and okay. see, see how this works out. And uh, so, so we'll see what we can come up with. And. Uh, Audience, if you would like to get involved in Don Papra, you know, uh, we'll give you the number to be able to call. And we would love to have you be a part of our art network here. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've heard it here first, folks. Thank you so much. Ciao. show is a combination of um, orchestral music that's more scored towards a, um, a cinematic experience as well as a magic show, great illusions um, and great singing. Kind of an extravaganza if you like, it's a way that uh, it brings a lot of like the classical music, 
uh, but with the, obviously with the ele element of the illusions and everything. So it's just this great combination that uh, I think really works well. And it is, it's a, something I don't think anyone's done before. And it's, it's just like a really good kind of niche that um, is just really exciting to see. And Joe is an amazing vocalist. So it's very exciting to be part of this. And the illusions are phenomenal. What I want to accomplish in this show is to move people. I want them to go on a journey uh, through several different emotions. The first half of the show is like candy. It's a lot of fun, a lot of, it's lighthearted, a lot of great Neapolitan songs that are most familiar to people. Well, I've worked on a lot of different types of shows. I've worked with um, Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake at the uh, Super Bowl. Um, I've, I've done tons of Disney shows. I think Joe is an amazing performer. He's very comfortable on stage. He's very um, uh, expressive. Uh, he definitely has that uh, theatrical uh, ability to project uh, into the crowd, so he really he really gets people into the moment and really, really does a great job. My favorite illusion consists of this beautiful, attractive puppet box. It's so beautiful and enticing that you would want to get close to it. In this particular song called Senza Nishuno, my assistant, who comes out as a clown, and I as well am dressed as a payachi clown, we have a struggle on stage, and she ends up running from me to hide into the cage, the only place where she can find safety. safe as she thought because I'm actually out to kill her because she's been cheating on me and so I want to get her so after she's in that box I crash her down on top of spikes well I don't want to divulge what happens after that you'll have to come see the show to find out but then finally we get pulled out of that into comedy and some great feeling at the end and I'm hoping that everyone will enjoy this new innovative concept of bringing classic type music with magic. I've had the pleasure of working with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Elvis Presley. And when I saw Joe Spinella perform, I knew he was something special. His voice, his passion, his sense of humor, they were magical, like his illusions. Joe and I are developing a spectacle for 2016 entitled Don Papra. The musical journey of an ex-mob boss turned popper star, backed by the acclaimed Macedonia Symphony Orchestra and a cast of wise guys and divas. It's a fusion of Grammy music and legendary opera. Don Popper, you, you are the best you, forget about it. You're very good, you. Big bugs, pesty insects, dirty critters can all be gone with the all-natural bug and critter solutions. Hi, I'm Susie Celine, and I have a new book out that will eliminate bugs and critters in your home without the use of poisons and pesticides. This book has it all, with over 400 pages of natural solutions in large print and a complete index for easy reference. Best of all, most of the solutions are already in your home. Order your copy of the all-natural bug and critter solution today for just $9.99 plus shipping and handling. 
Susie's production and media offers an array of creative services and website design, infomercials to social media creation and management. Social media is the key in today's market. It's the fuel that drives the clients to your business. At Susie's Productions and Media, we brand and market your business or products and captivating visual content. We utilize every possible social media outlet on the web to ensure your success. Stressed? Take a breath and get away from it all with the help of Diamond Travel and Cruises. Diamond Travel and Cruises is here to help you with their expertise. They can send you on a dream vacation like no other. Diamond Travel and Cruises can also make your next conference or family reunion something that they'll talk about for years. Call today, 702-912-0041 or visit them online at suzies diamondtravelcom Inspired by nature, Hunter Douglas created the Duet Architella Honeycomb Shade. Its energy-efficient design can keep up to 40% more warmth in during the winter and up to 80% more heat out during the summer, beautifully. Visit a local Hunter Douglas dealer today for more information and to take advantage of special offers that may be in effect on Duet Honeycomb Shades. And we're back with Julia Lima, another special artist from the show. Hi, Julia. Hi, how are you guys? It's so happy. I'm so happy to be here at your program TV show. And as well, I'm very happy to be part of the Don Popper show as a special guest performer and artist. And um, so we're, you, we're happy to have you. Guys. Yes, thank you. So happy to be here in Vegas as well. A lot of fun here. So Don Popera, it's a new a great project. Okay. It's a magic show, as, you, as uh, Joseph uh, uh, told you before. Yes. I will be the uh, guest uh, performer, guest artist there, but not only assistant. But the, my my main deal here it's uh, assisting Joe with his magic stuff. Oh really? But I'm not going to be just uh, a girl who is assisting, smiling, and doing this spa. I'll be the girl who is performer, who is actress. I will play a few characters there, at least three characters, very opposite from each other. And uh, wow. I'll be, be the main thing, yeah, thank you. Yes. The main thing would be, uh, I'll be a singer as well, an opera singer. <laughs> so you are a singer also? Yes, yes, this will be the main surprise, I guess, oh, of the wow. show. Yes, I will be singing, uh, it's my honor to sing with such a great tenor as Joseph. Spinella, and so we'll be doing famous duets from the musical theater, opera, and uh, maybe just pop stuff. But m mostly we'll do uh, opera duets, famous opera duets oh, together. Oh, wow, that's going to be wonderful. So tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, so I'm Russian, as you can hear yes, in my accent. Yes. <laughs> So from Russia with love, and uh, <laughs> was born and raised there in Siberia. Um, in my childhood, I was so attracted to sports, so I became a professional uh, sport gymnast, oh, wow. master level degree. That's uh -huh. a very high level. So I probably might have a sport career, but at the age of uh, 13, 15, I guess, I've heard. Um, the beautiful voice of one lady on TV who was singing uh, the song from Fifth Element. You remember yes, this, like yes. crazy high notes. Yes. I was like, oh my God, I, I can do that too. Uh -huh. I want to be like her, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So the, I was trying to start practicing at home and it went very well. And I told my mom that I want to go to the music school. And she said, okay, why not? Um, and I um, went to the school for like two years. Uh -huh. It was like external, you know, so. Sure. And then I got my scholarship uh, in a very famous musical college named after Gnesin in Moscow, Russia. So, and after this, mm -hmm. I had some career and uh, as an opera singer there, as a crossover performer as well, even better. And was traveling a lot in Europe and Russia. And uh, a couple of years ago, six years ago, I moved here to the United States for my professional opera career. So I got a lot of contracts here. I performed with many uh, opera companies uh, within United States and Europe as well too, sure. I still do that. Yes, and right now, uh, no, not right now, but like about like a year ago, uh -huh. and one um, open stage competition in New York City, I suddenly met Joe Spinella. That's where the two of you met, huh? Yes, yes. yes. He was watching, he was uh, uh, performing at the same uh, competition, and uh, 
we saw each other. He catched me. He said, you know what? You're going to sing in my show. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what kind of show it's going to be. Now we have an idea. Sure. But at that moment, had, okay, we exchanged numbers, uh, business cards. And yes, he invited me to Sarasota to sing with him a few performances and concerts. And since that, uh, we, were talk we started to talk about this show. He explained me what he absolutely. wants to do. And I find it absolutely fabulous idea. Like, you know, magic show, singing, acting and great libretto, <laughs> uh -huh. what else you need to, to, to make the show oh, successful. That's fantastic. Yes. We look forward to having it out here. So you, you're going to grace us with the show out here very oh, shortly, I would think. I hope so, too. I'm yes. sure it'll be, yes. Oh, I would think so, too. So we'll have to definitely get, get you involved, and maybe later on in the show, maybe you and Joe can sing a few notes. Oh, right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So come and prepare, but okay. So I would think maybe... Maybe something from the opera. Would yes. it be okay? Yes, I would love that. Mm, so it's going to be the song to the moon, which might be part of the show as well. Yes, yes. yes. Посвети блоди широким, ти ваш сив прибитки ліди. Посвети блоди широким, ти ваш сив прибитки ліди. Місечко постой хвилі, рже к небі, де же мій милий. It's just a little part of this, so. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So thank you so much for being on our show. You are fantastic. Thank you so much, Susan. Yes. And we'll be right back. Susie's production and media offers an array of creative services and website design, infomercials to social media creation and management. Social media is the key in today's market. It's the fuel that drives the clients to your business. At Suzy's Productions and Media, we brand and market your business or products and captivating visual content. We utilize every possible social media outlet on the web to ensure your success. Big bugs, pesty insects, dirty critters can all be gone with the all-natural bug and critter solutions. Hi, I'm Susie Celine, and I have a new book out that will eliminate bugs and critters in your home without the use of poisons and pesticides. This book has it all, with over 400 pages of natural solutions in large print and a complete index for easy reference. Best of all, most of the solutions are already in your home. Order your copy of the all-natural bug and critter solution today for just $9.99 plus shipping and handling. And we're back with Jeff Kutash. Jeff, it's fantastic to have you on my show. Well, good to see you, Susie. Yeah. I feel like I'm at the Grammy Awards with yes. all the singing and performing, and yes. uh, we get the best seat in the house. Yes, how about that? Joe Spinella and Julia. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. So tell us more about what's happening in your life and what's happening with Don Popper and everything. I'm going to let you. Well, I, you know, I've been a Vegas guy for a long time. Yes. And uh, See, it's, it's nice for people to see, see your back. Well, I, I actually never left. I've, I've been asleep for a few uh, moments. <clears throat> Rip Van Kutash. <laughs> um, I started back in the 70s with Elvis Presley and Dick Clark and then Sinatra and Sammy and Dean and that whole era. Uh, we opened as the Dancing Machine with our dance act and then Splash in the 80s that ran for about 20 years. 20, yeah. um, but, it, you know, Vegas is evolving and that's why sure. we love it here because if it's not the hotels or the landscape, it's certainly the uh, the shows. Correct. And the artists, the mm -hmm. entertainers. Right. Uh, and now we've I've been fortunate enough to discover a a new guy and girl that are probably going to bring uh, 
make some noise in this town that it has not heard or seen before. You know, we always like to do something innovative and fresh. And when I saw Joe and his act, mm -hmm. he's the master of illusions, master tenor of illusions. Kind of like uh, with respect to Bocelli, who's doing magic illusions. And I thought, wow, I'm, this is incredible, and it's perfect for Vegas, of course. So um, with his sense of humor and uh, his passion, as you've already experienced, to say nothing of the voice, which is magical, and his illusions, I think Vegas is going to uh, adopt something. Uh, They're going to adopt him and adopt you uh, and, and Julia. I mean, uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, well, that, it would be fun to adopt Julia, yes. wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> But it, it's amazing. So, so uh, what are the um, plans for this? 2016, as the uh, entertainment uh, landscape again is evolving, we want to uh, bring forth Don Papra, Joe's Grammy pop operatic um, extravaganza musical mm -hmm. spectacle. It's a big show. Yes. Um, uh, with ca characters and, and, and scenery and all kinds of fabulous costumes. And for those who have never seen an opera, this is a wonderful experience to see a hip opera. That's the way to go. Which is why it's popera. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, you know, Las Vegas' fascination with the mob goes without saying. And Don Popra, the, uh, the ex-mobster who now cooks and sings, is just going to delight audiences. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm excited because I'm producing and directing the show. And it gives me a chance to do something, as I indicated, fresh and innovative. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is it's about talent. That's what people want to see. For sure. Like your show. Well, thank you, Susie Q. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what can we do uh, with the audience? How can we let our audience know if they'd like to get involved in? Audience uh, can email us okay. for updates on what's going on, okay. our newsletter, and of course all the social media. Um, and if you want to put that on a card, or I, I can just uh, I can just tell them what it is, and uh, tell them what it, it is, it, and we'll it, also run it. Okay, it will be J K Group, G R O U P L V, like Las Vegas at yahoo.com. J K Group L V at yahoo.com and find out all about uh, Don Papra and Joe Spinella and Julia. Definitely. We'll, ha we'll have it on Facebook. Oh, that's great. Facebook. Of course. Yes. We'll put it on everything. Oh, and we'll even give it to Donald Trump and maybe there he'll put go. it as part of his platform and Hillary and everything. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Big bugs, pesty insects, dirty critters can all be gone with the all-natural bug and critter solutions. Hi, I'm Susie Celine, and I have a new book out that will eliminate bugs and critters in your home without the use of poisons and pesticides. This book has it all, with over 400 pages of natural solutions in large print and a complete index for easy reference. Best of all, most of the solutions are already in your home. Order your copy of the all-natural bug and critter solution today for just $9.99 plus shipping and handling.